Okay, hey, hi, hello, welcome back, Alexandrian Codex, etc, etc, etc. I, uh, I think I've been convinced that to make this just an HPM submod, because a lot of reasons, what really sold me today was I was going to make today's subject terrain changes. And all the terrains I wanted to implement, and yada yada yada, and well it turns out, this mod does pretty much exactly what I wanted to do in introducing terrain like Tundra or Alpine Tundra instead of Arctic, which the shit ain't Arctic. Uh, this is Arctic, this is Arctic, this is Arctic, this is Arctic, but most of this isn't. Uh, some of the numbers I've I, I dug around in the game file or mod files a little bit, and some of the numbers I found were a little weird. But I I might mess with a couple of things. But after going through last night and redrawing the map myself, this is pretty close to what I'd want. I might tweak a couple of things, but on the whole, and this is not a contentious statement to make. I think this this mod author is very competent. And, does great work. <laughs> I think it's a good foundation to iterate off of. Uh, I'll have to go back and tweak the numbers a tiny tiny bit for a few things. But what I wanted to talk about today is, uh, well, let's hop into region map mode. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a pretty smart way to do it. I want to talk about the Northwest Territories. Now, in Victoria 2, the Northwest Territories are broken into the Yukon, uh, Northwest Territories, and none of it, because they are nowadays, well, they, and I think they are by the end date of 1936, so this is an interesting choice. Uh, essentially, and I think the mod author is handling this mostly right to this point, this shit should just be empty. There are indigenous peoples here, but they barely numbered in the thousands, and they weren't really unified by any overarching alliance or confederacy or anything like that. Punch the mic. Even uh, even this is pushing it hardcore now. I guess this is just supposed to represent British territorial claims. Uh, to be to be real with you, there wasn't anything settled north of here until the mid 20th century. So this should be unsettled. Yeah, the British claimed it. The British claimed all of this, but it doesn't mean they should have ownership at the beginning of the game because like I talked about previously, I want ownership in this mod to reflect who actually has authority in the area, or historically did. Uh, we're gonna have... so I, I think this is going to be just unsettled. Um, I could... I could do the same thing to the Northwest Territories that I'm doing to Columbia and Oregon territories and locking them away behind uh, behind the the sphere and annex model and I might do that but I mean it really was pretty empty sparse territory that went unsettled for a long long time the even the Hudson Bay Company barely had a presence up here and I mean barely so yeah I'm kind of at a loss uh, what to do with it frankly <laughs> what I'd like to do is uh, and I'm not going to do this if I were to remake this mod I'd uh, or remake the game I just cut it out or make it um, wasteland and not colonizable because it wasn't colonized like even even to the modern day there were some minor uh pseudo colonization efforts made in none of it but not really in the northwest territories not really and 
Yeah, yeah, it's just kind of kind of awkward. Uh, while I'm talking about Canada, let's go ahead and knock out half of uh, the geographic region. The Iron Confederacy. That's what I want to talk about now. Now, the Iron Confederacy is basically going to have Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, except for the coastal region here, and it'll also creep into Rat Portage here. The numbers I'm probably going to have to fuck around with, but... Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna have to change very much uh, the uh, If you're curious about how little I had to work with go ahead and hop on Wikipedia and check out the history of Alberta Saskatchewan and Manitoba There's not a lot there really the most interesting thing that happens in here is uh, around 1866 there's one rebellion where one dude dies I think in in 18 68 69 there's an armed rebellion that's kind of interesting of the uh the the, the Me metis matisse the, these folks uh re rebellion rebelling against uh canada I, I think, if I'm remembering right, the point of contention was that they weren't able to make an offer to purchase Rupert's land, and they weren't really cool with being acquired by etc, etc, etc. So yeah, um, I'm probably gonna have the Iron Confederacy have a mechanic that kicks in around 1870. I think 1871 is when the... Cree peoples who made up most of the Iron Confederacy signed the first of the numbered treaties with the Canadian government. The numbered treaties basically being treaties where uh, various indigenous peoples, I guess first peoples is the correct terminology for Canada, uh, agreed to allow European settlers on their land in exchange for financial compensation from the government as well as emergency assistance because they were kind of starving because of the decline of the buffalo. Uh, so we'll probably incorporate that. I, I kind of want to go in and make some dummy maps using, uh, <laughs> not dummy maps, but maps of the RGOs to see if they check out. I mean, this is, this is gonna be fish, yeah, timber, yeah, fish, 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 yep, that's alright. Uh, this is all fish, as it should be at the, uh, I'm gonna fuck with this a little bit then. Yeah, 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 so, it's, a. Uh, it's not the most exciting region. Uh, if, if you're Canadian and you're from one of these three provinces, you're probably from down here. So, I don't think you're gonna take much offense to me saying there's really not much going on here. Really, the trickiest thing that I'm contending with is trying to come up with population estimates. If we... Wow, hold on. These are way off if he has 1.4k. I'm assuming he... if they have 1.4k, because that's equal to, like, 6,000 people. No, no, this is way too densely populated. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think all told this region has, I think we're going in the ballpark of like 30,000, 40,000 people, and today it's like three times, four times that number, and how I reached 30 or 40,000 number with basically taking modern day statistics for the amount of people descended from Plains or Woods Cree and dialed it back using population growth estimates by year for every year all the way back to 1836 but that's not really the most effective way of doing it right uh the population growth of a nation is not evenly spread particularly not evenly spread when it comes to indigenous peoples who weren't being treated well by the government who underwent nearly uh, a century of forced assimilation efforts that were intentionally starved and mistreated or yada 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 yada. So I know it's not the best math, it's probably going to be a little south of the number that I'm picking up. I've dug around on various government uh, province and nation websites and haven't been able to find anything. If you happen to know of any good resources for the indigenous population of the Northwest Territories, <laughs> Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, 
or really most of Canada, hit me up. Uh, I dug around, there's some old HBC, uh, Hudson Bay Company census records, which are wildly incomplete, but yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, not much is changing up here. I'm probably going to nix ownership of this and make it as difficult to colonize as this shit is. I'm probably going to, uh, you know, I actually kind of like the borders only going this high. Uh, hand ownership of this off to the woods in Plain <laughs> Plains Cree uh, and leave this mostly uninhabited. Kind of weird to have... yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I I'm gonna play with a lot of these, but yeah, yeah, mostly gonna stay the same. The, the one mechanic, um... So the, the first treaties mechanic I'm talking about, I'd really prefer if that were only utilizable by Canada, as in tag C-A-N Canada. I don't think the United States should have access to that same, just, oh, it's 1870, you're in my sphere, auto-acquire, no problems. Well, a couple problems, but mostly no problems. I think the U.S. will just use its own mechanics. I don't know. I don't know if uh, if I should be treating a nation any differently just because it's north of the. Uh... Oh my God! What what parallel is this? North of the border. And yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I spent so much last night redrawing. Well, okay, down in Mexico, I probably want to make some changes. Uh, basically, the three hundred. <laughs> I, I drew a map, North America, using the province uh, map mode, indicating on the map where the top 100 tallest mountains, top 200 tallest mountains, 300, 400, etc., uh, were, and then adding a topo map on top of that. And I, really, I think this is an inadequate amount of mountains for the topology of the area. This, I'm happy, is included. There should be a little more in here, just a little more, uh, the Sierra... Sierra del Sol? Is that the, the range that runs through here? There's also a range that runs... I mean, I guess this is supposed to represent it, but Durango's a little higher up than this, and eh, eh, eh. Also, <laughs> not a single one of the top 400 mountains in terms of elevation, is over here. These are little itty baby mountains in comparison to the west, so it seems kind of odd for these and these to be giving the same modifiers. Like, I know a mountain is a mountain, but these aren't really mountains. Like, the one place where I would put mountains is probably this part of North Carolina. And that might be it. Like, this is rough terrain, hilly terrain, slightly mountainous terrain, but the Smoky Mountains are, or Blue Ridge Mountains, whatever you want to call them, are nothing in comparison to the Rockies. But, uh, I'll sit on that and I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah, so, I wish I had more to say about Canada, because, you know, it's a big old region, but I, I mean, even in terms of uh, inter uh, RGO changes, let's, let's take a look at the RGO map. So this is for timber, uh, yeah, mostly accurate, grain, accurate. I'm not, I'm not sure if Jasper and Old Beaufort should have iron and coal for the majority of Alberta's history, its main exports and industrial products have been grain and cattle. So, specifically wheat and cattle. So, I'm gonna be taking a look at that and probably changing that. Uh, Saskatchewan, yeah, that's about right. Alberta near Edmonton in, oh god, 1901? I think drilled its first oil well, it was, can't remember the name of it, but it was the main oil well for most of Canada for 
the first half of the 20th century, I think. Uh, there were efforts in the next 30, 40, 50 years to try to drill for oil in here and in here, but uh, very little luck. So if that isn't already implemented, that's a big part of why Edmonton became the capital. Uh, I got nothing, and really I got nothing. Like, that looks about right to me, that looks about right to me. These, uh, this honestly looks a little too valuable in terms of what's there. I, for some odd reason, didn't look at British Columbia last night. How does this province lay out? Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. I I actually think it's a really good move just to simplify Yukon from the three provinces it was down to this. Like, a really good move. And I... I I like the simplification of Alaska. Yeah, I'm liking a lot of things here that make <laughs> some math a little bit easier. I, yeah, yeah, can I flip on culture? I just got home not an hour ago and this is my first chance actually looking at the map. I was looking through the, the game files, but trying to visualize a map and read through the game files are two completely fucking different things. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably be back tomorrow with something. Maybe talking about BC, maybe talking about the Canadas, probably talking about Quebec, because that's a pretty easy one. Um, I need a uh, flag for the Iron Confederacy, so I'm working on that right now. They you know, didn't really have a flag, they were kind of a loose confederacy of tribes and nations, not really a strict <laughs> uh, national entity like we think of them now, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. I guess... guess this is it. Till, uh, till tomorrow. Toodaloo, I guess. Bye.